But if you're going to claim you're sweat resistant, humidity resistant, all the things, I want to know. I want to put it to test so you can see <laughs> right along with me. You know what I mean? Hey you, it's Mo. I'm going to share with you today Hourglass's new foundation, the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I haven't done a foundation wear test in a while, so that's what we're going to do today. We're starting off nice and early. It's 8.05. I'm going out to breakfast today with the fam. I've got lots of errands to do. It's over 100 degrees. So I think it's a good day to do a foundation wear test because some of these claims, we're going to put them to the test. Let's hydrate and begin. So let's talk details. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's very hourglass. I got it in the shade number 13. 13 is described as medium deep with warm undertones. And here's what the actual product looks like. It is glass packaging. She does come with a pump. It's very hourglass, that nice, high quality, luxurious feel to their products. Now here's what I'm really excited to put to the test, okay? It claims to be a transfer resistant formula that's also resistant to humidity and sweat for flawless looking coverage that stays in place. Again, it's 100 plus degrees here. And I'm going out. We're gonna see. <laughs> so it claims to be a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. 16 hours, that's a lot. <laughs> and it has a natural finish. Um, something else that it said is that it had blue light protection, which if, you know, this whole blue light protection claim in a lot of skincare and makeup products is true, it's a good thing because we're always on devices, we're always in front of a screen, a monitor, you know. Anywho, claims, description, all of that is out of the way. Let's get into this. So again, I picked up shade 13. It didn't say to shake, but I know it's always a good idea to shake our product. <laughs> Let me bring you closer. Hello. This is morning skin. Didn't do much. You know, my morning skincare routine is very minimal. Um, nothing's new. I have combination skin and oily T-zone <laughs> and a dry to normal perimeter. Um, I'm in my late 30s. I'm almost 40, so there's all that. I have my foundation references and all that stuff listed down below in the description box. So, shaking, and let's see consistency. Okay. There it is. Oh, she's yellow. Oh, oh it's a lot yellow, but you know, we'll blend, we'll bring back some warmth with some bronzer and all the things, we'll pull it together. I'm not worried about that. I love this primer, it's a great primer. Um, let's do a half prime and see what that does. Because again, this is my first time, I don't know anything. <laughs> We're just gonna try and see. We'll do my right side with primer. I have so much hairspray in my hair. Okay. So that's why it's not moving as it usually does. Because of the humidity, I'm trying to prevent turning into a frizz ball. <laughs> so that's why that's why that's that. What is happening here? I'm gonna let the primer sit for a moment. So we primed this side and we left this side, just skincare. Now, they did come out with a brush, a foundation brush for this um, foundation. I didn't pick it up. I know I don't need it. I know I'm not gonna use it, but they did come out with a brush. It looks nice. I'm sure it's great, but I'm just gonna use what I normally use, which is my beauty blender. So nothing new here. All right, so this foundation promised to smooth me, even me out, and give me glow, right? Smooth, even, and glow. <laughs> I'm just looking at my uh, notes with the description. Okay, so I'm picking up. Now, let's start with the side that has been primed.
Okay. Okay. That's some nice coverage. That's a true medium right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. It is giving a very nice soft glow. That's cute. I'm liking that. All right. Well, this side doesn't have any primer. Let's see. So this is the side that's primed. And this is the side that's just skincare. What do we think? I kind of feel like the prime side looks better. Hmm. Anyhow, we'll see. I'm going in with a little bit more. Let's tackle this forehead. I don't like to put a lot of product on my forehead, but we got to test this bad boy out, don't we? So I will put it there. See, look how crunchy my hair is. <laughs> yeah, today's a hairspray day. I think I use like half the can. But I am not going to be looking a mess today with this heat. This looks good. This looks really nice. Well, let's give it a little while to settle. And then we'll see. Again, this is the side that's primed. And this is the side that's just skincare. And then the forehead. Ooh, okay. I'm going to do concealer, let this kind of settle in, and um, I'll be back and we'll powder and finish my face and we'll start the clock for our wear test. I'm going in with my La Prairie and my Sicily combo for my uh, concealer. But everything I use will be listed and linked down below. At first, it looks so yellow, right? <laughs> but it's not too bad. I just gotta make sure it's blended because I feel like my face looks so smooth. <laughs> and then my neck. My neck is not that it's not smooth, but you know, you know that transition, you wanna make sure it's it's nice and good. I'm not gonna set my whole entire face, I'm just gonna set my T-zone to be on the safe side. And because that's what I would normally do. So I'm going in with Translucent from um, Westman Atelier. All right, let's see how we're looking. Prime side, not prime side. I like the glow, it's just, just a subtle and enough, just enough type of glow. It's very pretty. And the thing about this um, Westman Atelier powder, it's a skincare powder, so it doesn't take away from your natural glows, thankfully. It comes in very handy today. All right, so we're about where we're going to be for today as far as the foundation. I'm going to finish up my face makeup. I'm going in with this and this. Um, I'm just going to put this on my, my, my eyes. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm going to keep it very soft because I want the focus to remain on the foundation and then we'll start our wear test and yeah, I got to wake up my kids and get them ready. So got to get moving here. I think it's good to always share the process of your other products being applied on top of a new foundation because we want to know how it plays with the products you already use. I went in with the cream blush from this palette. Then I'm going over with my rose tan blush from Hermes. 
who remembers this? <laughs> I'm going into this highlighting shade. I will say everything applied on top and went over very, very nicely on the skin. Everything still looks pretty good. Yeah. So I finished everything up. I applied lip liner in Envious Nude along with my Hourglass Gloss, Sizzly in the Waterline. Everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box. But here is the... F Whoa, I'm dropping stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Skin is feeling really, really good. And all of my products went over top. No issues. Beautifully. Let you see everything nice and close. So this side is skincare only, and this side is primed. And that's how everything looks right now. So, looks good. A little look-see at the forehead. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty confident. This is very much a look I would wear out on a normal everyday kind of basis. Soft, pretty, but I tried. <laughs> All right, so let the wear test begin. I'll check in periodically and we'll see how this bad boy holds up today because we're gonna put it to the test. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Hi, I'm full. <laughs> but we're here with our first check-in. I've got my cameraman behind the scenes. Hello, Dalek. Hello. <laughs> so question how do you like my makeup today it really looks stunning well thank beautifully you. done thank you the the more important question is i'm wearing a new product i'm testing a new product and i'd like to hear your feedback it's the foundation what do you think your toughest critic i really like it this is really a solid looking product yeah yes it's very nice and it is feeling really good and i've been ha i've had it on for a few hours now it's not quite 100 degrees, but what are we at? Uh, 95. Oh, it's hold out. Yeah. Hello, daughter of mine. Hello. Okay, don't be so dry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wearing a new foundation today. I need your humble opinion because I am getting feedback. It's been four and a half hours. What do you think? I think it looks really good. Yeah? Really smooth. <clears throat> Jeez, girl, what are you, being shy? <laughs> And I think it looks like very natural at the same time. Like I would want to wear that. Uh oh. Now I gotta worry about her stealing it. What time is that? 2.25. Alright, so where are we at? Six hours. This is a six hour mark. Okay, look. How's it looking now? It really is holding up. I can't believe it. And we're at over 100 degrees out there. Oh, yeah. It is look. hot. Look at my hair. My hair looks... And we're doing a lot of walking, and it really looks great. And this is how you know, because my hair is starting to look... <laughs> yeah, but the makeup isn't. It's holding. Oh, my gosh. It's highly hair. recommend it. You highly... Excuse me! So far. That's big. All right. All right. So, that was the check-in for now. I'll see you guys in another few hours. That's what the hub has to say. Thanks, hubs. Hubs out. Hubs out. <laughs> Hi. We are at the eight hour mark. Wow. Here we are. It feels like a lot better than I thought. It's actually holding up better than my hair. And you saw how much hairspray I had in my hair. That thing was not moving. But look at this foundation. It is, it's been really hot. I've been doing a ton of errands. It's back to school, so I'm doing a ton of, you know, refreshing in the kids' wardrobes and stuff, and it's hot out here. But things are holding up so well. Like, I, I'm actually really impressed. I am a little shiny, but it still looks good. So I'll see you again in a few more hours. Hey, <laughs> it's 8.06 p.m., we did 12 hours, a little over 12 hours. The foundation claims 16 hours of wear, but I gave you 12. I think that's pretty sufficient, right? 
<laughs> All right. So a lot has happened in 12 hours. Went out to breakfast, did some errands, did school shopping, clothes shopping, outside a lot. And it was a hundred something degrees. So I really feel I was able to put the new Hourglass Foundation to the test. So here I am. I haven't touched up. And as you can see, my nose is shiny, but honestly, we're still looking pretty good. And the best part is it still feels really good. Let's just say the foundation held up better than my five day old hair that I had so much hairspray in because of this humidity and heat. It's impressive. <laughs> Let's touch on some of these claims really quick and then I'll bring you nice and close so you can really take a look at how this foundation is looking a little over 12 hours. Okay, so. Foundation is infused with blurring spheres to minimize the look of imperfections for skin that looks smooth, evened, and glowing. Glowing, yes, she did, but not a glow that was shiny and yucky and greasy. This was a very beautiful, comfortable glow. I'm into it. Smooth and even. Yes, we were smooth and even. And like, yeah, I've got a bit of settling in my smile lines. But it's not to the point where it bothers me and it looks bad. Same thing with my forehead. Next claim. Transfer resistant formula is also resistant to humidity, sweat, for a flawless looking coverage that stays in place. Yeah. Okay. So I ate, you know, in 12 hours I ate. <laughs> and... I had a little something with some spiciness to it, okay? And sometimes when you eat spicy food, you know, you kind of feel like a little hot. <laughs> and you get like, just like that little burst of sweat. I had that. Foundation didn't go anywhere. I was outside in this hundred something degree weather. Foundation did great. I actually forced myself to sit outside when I came home and I got changed and I got comfortable to sit outside. Just a seed, because I'm really wanting to put this thing through the ringer. <laughs> I mean, in reality, a lot of the times I'll be in an air conditioned area, or if I'm outside, it's I'm not like in direct sun type of thing. But if you're gonna claim you're sweat resistant, humidity resistant, all the things, I want to know. I want to put it to the test so you can see <laughs> right along with me. You know what I mean? Um, but. Yeah, throughout the humidity and sweat and all the things, our class did something with this foundation. And the feedback I got from my family was pretty good. They can be quite overly honest sometimes. like Because they're like this close to my face, you know? So they can tell me, oh, me. Yeah, this was, this, was, this was a good makeup day. The hair... Not so much. But for the makeup to outperform my hair, I kind of feel some type of way. <laughs> but claims versus what we see, it's looking pretty good. All right, let me bring you nice and close so we can really examine this thing. Yes? Okay. All right. Here we are. This is 12 hours... All day. All day. Now, what I will say, in my most oily area, which is my nose, I feel like I lost a little bit of the foundation. And then here, in the smile lines, it's kind of as to be expected for my smile lines. This is kind of typical for me. I'm smiling, I'm talking, I'm this, I'm that. This is pretty typical for me. This doesn't bother me. Nice look-see here at the forehead. I mean, you guys can see my pores. Can't hide much this close. But I mean, she looks pretty good. I haven't touched it up. Sweat a little. <laughs> Been outside in this humidity. And this is 12 hours on the skin. Okay? 
This is how we're looking. I'm going to touch things up because, I mean, hey, I would touch it up. If I started getting a little shiny, it took everything in me not to touch that up. Just not to just my nose. But I remembered I'm doing this video, so I'm going to be good. I'm not going to touch anything. So I haven't touched anything. But let's touch up really quick. So I'm going to use the same powder that I normally would use. Okay. Not that color. Where's the other one? Here it is. My Westman Atelier powder in the shade Translucent. Here she is. Get my brush. Let's pick up. And let's touch the nose. Let's just touch the nose. Let's see what happens when we touch the nose. Okay. All right, that revived things nicely. Let's touch the cheeks. Start to get a little ooh. Okay, I can take that. Okay. Let's touch the forehead. All right, the powder's reviving the skin a little bit. But, you know, reality is I have been wearing this thing all day. I kind of, I think I touched here and rubbed right here. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not, it's not too, too bad. All right, so we touched up a bit. Now, for the side that I used primer and the side that it was just skincare, it's the end of the day now, I think they both look the same. I personally can't tell the difference. Can you? I can't tell the difference. <laughs> I can't tell the difference. But okay, let me get my hair out of my, my way. Here's the skin now that we touched her up. I honestly think, well, not that way, Monique, this way. For a foundation that claims to have 16 hours wear, transfer proof, sweat resistant, humidity resistant, it's gonna smooth you, it's gonna give you good medium buildable coverage and feel weightless and lightweight. I mean, that's pretty much saying the same thing, but you know what I mean. Um, wow. Yeah. And again, remember, I've got combo skin. I got a little shiny in the T-zone, but nothing a little powder or blotting can't fix. Overall, Hourglass, you did something. Hourglass did something, guys. I mean, we see for ourselves here. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Please tell me. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know how you're feeling. What are you thinking? Let me know. But I personally think after wearing this thing all day, and I mean doing as much as I did, I have to say I like it. I like it. Now, one thing I will say, um, she looks like I'm wearing makeup. This is not like a your skin but better kind of gig. It is a good looking product on the skin, but is it like light, thin coverage that you have to kind of figure out, are you wearing something or not? No, it's makeup. You know, and I don't want to be saying that because majority of the times on my channel, that's kind of what I would wear and I'm always, you know, sharing with you guys. So I just want to touch on that really quick. <laughs> um, again, it's not that it looks bad or cakey because it doesn't at all. Um, and in all honesty, the feedback I got from my husband was so like, it made me feel good because he does not like heavy makeup, you know? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys, I'm sure a lot of us can relate to this, you know, husbands, you know, partners, boyfriends, when we don't really feel like we look our best, we're just like supernatural. They're just like, oh, you look beautiful. So they always kind of want you to look that way, you know, and then when I put on like a lot of makeup, my husband's like, listen, no, that's too much cake. <laughs> For a foundation that, you know, like with this much coverage and stuff, for him to really rave about it, I was like, okay. <laughs> it was nice. It was nice. Okay, I'm rambling. So overall, Hourglass, you did something here. This ambient soft glow foundation is beautiful. And she really did her thing here. As you can see at the end of the day, where's my phone? At 819. 
p.m. And we started nice and early today. Yes, we did. All right. Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. Thank you so much for letting me share this new foundation with you and wear tests and, you know, all the check-ins and the family feedback, all of the things. Appreciate you spending your time with me today, guys. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you very, very soon. Bye. I feel like I had a really good makeup day for as long as I was wearing this. But I'm happy. I haven't really, I feel like I haven't really tried a new foundation in a little while. Not that I haven't tried any new foundations, but just like I feel like for this type of new foundation, yeah. So this was fun. This was good. This was good. Okay, all right. Bun is up. It's time to take this makeup off. But I kind of don't want to, even though I've been wearing it for so long. These are my favorite makeup looks, by the way. When it's just like simple, but like you tried, you know? <laughs> All right. <laughs>